A one, two, three, four. I love circulars and you do too. They're so beautiful, fun and new. The gift that keeps on giving on and on. So watch my videos, we'll all have fun. In the garden there are so many becauses and every step I take I find something that kind of stops and halts and um, gets in the way of plans that's why in this the plan of this garden is there's no plan like you just have to go with the flow because if you try to plan it like I planned um, a month to get this done um, a month is not really very reasonable because there are so many things that get in the way as for example I put I'm going to put the the fountain where my husband is at right now that's where the fountain's gonna be but then when I look from this side, there's like this gap between the fence that makes it look really ugly. So what I'm going to do, what I plan to do is this board right here will go up there and kind of cover that. You know, I'm going to put plants all around there too, just to cover all the garbage and the crap like that. Um, other side of the fence so there he's putting up a board right there right up there and I'm going to have to mosaic something to cover up that that gap that gap has been a thorn on my side ever since the new fence went up and then now that there's a new fence the, this fence was he, wasn't here before. We had to redo all this. And I can show you a picture of what it looked like when we first moved back in. Um, this is all like, like uh, full of trees and stuff. So well, what I'm thinking, the theme would be, would be since I have the bunny theme or the hair, um, it's going to be a mosaic of the hair somehow i'm gonna have to look for a line drawing that can help me out with that and i think i found one i'll show you but um i'll show you when i'm done okay hi guys so here's the strategy for the fountain i had uh, a block right here a cinder block inside this planter and then this is going to sit um in a bowl and then the solar pump the solar pump is going to go through that hole right there it's going to sit on top <laughs> this is all rigged right because um this is the only way i can get a really nice fountain here but it's going to sit in that underneath that with a um the hole coming i mean the the hose coming through there and then this is going to sit Right here, kind of. What's the best angle? Right here, there's the best angle right there. So yeah. Um, then there's gonna. Be, then I'm gonna plant the plants that that I want back in here. Um, the rocks is gonna hold on to the to the little flimsy bowl that I have because it's flimsy. I need a glass bowl or a ceramic bowl, but I don't have one right now. And I need to get this going so I can see what um, what it looks like. So then um, the bowl that I have is pink. So what I did was I spray painted it black. So there they are. I spray painted them both black. This is the can that the, that the it's going to be underneath. Um, 
so that there there's a notch right there so the pump would come out the pumps um ooh, it's already dry great uh the pump cord would come out there and it's going to sit out in the sun so here i'm going to spray paint the inside ooh, i have to clean that first because it's kind of dirty but uh, i'm going to clean that and then i'm going to spray paint it so that it doesn't look pink you know it just, just doesn't go well together but uh spray paint that and then i'm gonna put the rocks in there okay so here she is the pump is underneath there it's just sitting inside the little tin can and then i filled it with rocks just so it's steady it's not gonna move and now it's beginning to just ooh look because of the heat it is smoky what's going on here <laughs> anyway but look how pretty huh so pretty uh oh what happened oh I I got in the shade <laughs> I got in the shade so there there we go stop because for me it wasn't enough sound coming from this fountain so I wasn't happy about it so now I was thinking just get the other fountain working and then I'm just going to make this a planter so that's how it ended up to be a planter so all the plants that were there before with an additional other plants goes right back into there all that work for nothing but that's the fun of it hey guys so i'm under my wonderful reposition umbrella here and here's the planter that we did the other day or last week or something like that but anyway this is the planter and now i've come down to this lower part where I put the agavoids these are two agavoids that were already cramped in that one planter and then my Echeveria glauca and some of the um, Darley sunshine oh Darley sunshine or um, another type of uh, sedum but um, here's my middle I don't know I forget what that's called but over there to cover all those trashy things from my neighbor's house um, I put the um, fichenkoi right there and then another this is gonna be a big bush so it's gonna definitely cover that and then some more of these things over on those sides so I say things because I don't remember exactly the names of it but I'm going to also add some of that candlestick over here. Oh, I should have done that before I put the rocks. But I put the red rocks there and look how pretty against the red rocks. Yeah. I'm still thinking about doing a kind of a border here. But I'm not sure. I might just keep, keep going over to the center. Um, to just fill up the space here. So I'm just going to keep it the, this way um, for a little bit until I figure out what to do with it. 